Everyone knows Venice, the famous Italian city of canals, but apart from the entire main area of the city, it has several islands throughout the lagoon that we'll now see, such as Murano, Burano, Torcello, Lido or San Giorgio Maggiore. To get there, you need to go by Vaporetto, the boat that serves as public transportation. The single ticket is very expensive, don't buy it, but better, you can buy tickets for days. Murano. It is rich with several Vaporetto lines from Fondamenta Nove. You can see its lighthouse and its canals. In addition, it has the glass museum with beautiful pieces. It's 10 euros a ticket, a bit expensive, but it's worth it. Burano, rich by line 12. It's by far the best of all the islands around Venice. It's full of traditional colored houses and charming canals. It has the Chiesa Parrocchiale di San Martino Vescovo, whose tower simulates the purest Tower of Pisa style as it's very inclined. At the end of the day, there is almost no one, and it is really super pleasant to be there. I recommend staying late to see the sunset returning with the Vaporetto. Such a landscape is truly wonderful. Torcello. It's next to Burano and can also be reached by Line 12. It only has this bridge without security measures and a charge. But well. Lido. is the beach part of Venice. It goes mainly with Line 1 and 5. They have the beach private, so it's not freely accessible, so it is not really worth going here. Seeing it from the boat is better. San Giorgio Maggiore. It's a very small island, but with a large basilica with the same name. It's reached by Lanchu. It has a bell tower that you can go up for 80 euros. The views are spectacular, even better than from San Marco bell tower for less. You can see everything. It's a complete marvel. And here are the most important islands. You can see the video of the city of Venice where there are so many tricks to save a lot of money. See you.